Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Raven Hot Coins. And before we start the show, we want to basically salute our sponsor, Coin. Ah, ah, ah. Yes, make sure to catch their weekly shows airing on Wednesdays and Fridays, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 Pacific. And on Sundays, they have a brand new show where they feature a lot of the varieties and airs, and you do have a chance at buying some of these great coins. All you have to do is do a donation through PayPal, and you can do that by sending it to MorganVideoProduction at gmail.com. Make sure to use the friends and family option to save money for the channel and as well that you can get a discount. Also, when you get a chance, visit Variety Air and <clears throat> excuse me, varietyandairs.com for all your variety and air needs. So what we're going to do is let you know that in a couple upcoming uh, sections, we're going to do a mail call from the Flea Market Coin Hunters and some other cool things. But first, let's see what we have. ta -da! Nickels! So guys, we're going to crack this bad boy open. And again, because this is from a different bank, it has a different type of seal, we're going to use raw force. And see what we have. And again, yes, guys, this here are circulated nickels. Like always, we're going to take a look, see if there's any great enders, make the nickel mids, and come back. So, once again, thanks for watching Raven Hot Coins. Stay tuned. Hey, everybody, welcome back to Raven Hot Coins. And, well, guys, the ender luck is still dry, but as you know, that means absolutely nothing in coin roll hunting. You can find great stuff all the time. But before we get into the first nickel mid, we're going to get to our first sponsors. Guys, make sure that you check out J3B Dig in Canada, also known as J3 freaking B. Great show. Also, my buddy, my name is Mud. And CT Relic Digger! I call these guys my buddies the Metal Detector Militia. Make sure you give them some love and check out their channels. So, what we're gonna do is get into the next 10 rolls here. Raven Hot Coins, stay tuned. Okay, everybody, welcome back to Raven Hot Coins. And before we look at what was in the first. Nickel Mid! We got a little commercial from one of our sponsors, the famous, the greatest on the net. He is. Hello, YouTubers. Salivate Metal here. Just making sure you get the fortitude while it's still going fast. Get it while it's hot. All right. Thank you, Sal. So make sure, guys, that you check out his show. Sal runs a lot of live streams as well as goes on and tells you really important information about what's happening in the financial markets and whatnot so if you're looking for some quality silver bullion please go to www.qualitysilverbullion.com or you can call them at 1-866-334-4279 and make sure you tell them Raven Hot Coin sent you. Thank you Raven, solid. Alright Sal, thanks a lot man. So we're going to get back to it. And what we do, like always, is try to tell and sh illustrate how what you're going to get in a typical box of nickels. So I kept aside this uh, 2016D, a 26D, a 1982, and it's really actually pretty nice. An 80, oops, an 83 that's in the wrong spot. No. Anyways, then we got a 1969, and of course, it wouldn't be a nickel box without the 64 galores. We got a 1960, a 59P, uh, a 58D, and the oldest one in the bunch was a 1947 Philadelphia. And this one I just pulled out because it was kind of interesting. Looks like somebody was really, really angry at this nickel. So we're going to get through the next 10 and let you know what we find. But remember, make sure you tune in to Salivate Metal. Or go to QualitySilverBullion.com for all your great silver needs and coins and more. Ravenock Coins, stay tuned.
Hey everybody, welcome back to Ravenock Coins, and as you can see, we have got through the next set of Nickel Mids. But before we tell you about our finds, we're going to cut to one of our sponsors. Alright guys, make sure that you check out Couch Collectibles Daily Show. He has a great show, guys. It's only $5 to get three entries in the Super Chat, and you get a chance at Silver. I don't know any other show doing it like that, so it's a pretty good deal to me. And you know what? Since he's a really big fan of wrestling, I'm just going to tell him that Hulk Hogan came by and said, Keep it up, brother. Make sure you take your vitamins. Eat your Wheaties. Yeah, that wasn't that good a Hulk impersonation, but anyways, <laughs> he gets what I tried to do. Uh, so basically what we got, guys, was a 1988 that it was really nice, a D, and a 2002. We got an 84 brown nickel, a 1982, a 1954, and that one is, looks like a D. And a 47, Philadelphia, we got 246 planes, because I already remember looking at those, and looking at the, and what's here, we got a 41, and it looks like it could be an S or a D, but it's a really kind of a worn out, um, mint mark but anyway so not too bad to start off we're gonna get to the next nickel mid stay tuned Ravenhawk coins hey everybody welcome back to Ravenhawk coins and we've gotten through another nickel mid and guys found a couple cool things but first we want to talk about our two sponsors of this segment and that is the Flea Market Coin Hunters. And actually, they are a great group of guys. You have Victor and Big J. They go to the different flea markets in New England and find really good stuff. Matter of fact, they're going to be doing an auction this Friday night, tentatively set for 6 p.m. Eastern. That is also 3 p.m. Pacific, but that might change. But make sure you give them a look and tell them that Ravenhawk Coins sent you, as well as SJ's Mixed Adventures. Yes, guys, SJ is a place where you can go and get advice, talk to friends, and hang out with coin. Up, up, up. So we're going to get to this. Um, I had actually was part of the last auction that these guys did, and it was really cool, guys. I got... Um, some really great coins at an unbelievable value. I mean, honestly, I kind of felt bad. And here they said, thank you for supporting flea market coin hunt... <clears throat> flea market coin hunters! You know, and we do. We support them. We really believe in what they're doing. So please, guys, go and check them out. Oh, wow, they give us a cool little card. Yeah, pull it out here with a nice thank you. And it says, Raven Hot Coins, thank you for supporting my channel. Flea Market Coin Hunters! Congratulations on your two big wins. Hope you enjoy them. Thank you for participating on our live stream auction. Thank you, Flea Market Coin Hunters. Really cool stuff, guys. And like I said, I got an insanely good deal. Um, I'm not going to discuss what I got because really you should go to their auction this Friday. Again, this Friday at 3 o'clock Pacific, 6, 6 o'clock Eastern. And so what I received was actually this beautiful, large, 19, or I'm sorry, 1851 large scent. I mean, the, the detailing and everything in this, guys, is just unbelievable. And I got this way below the value. And also, I got this two cent piece, and I really love this thing, guys. Um, the date on this is an 1867, and this one right here is actually an air coin. Um, so, you know, make sure you get onto their channel and watch the uh, auctions. They're really cool, guys. So we're going to get through the next 10 of the Nickel Mids and see what we get. Ravenock Coins, stay tuned. Okay, everybody, welcome back to Raven Hot Coins. And as you see, we got through the next set of Nickel Mints. And I realized I forgot to go over the last segment's highlights. 
And even before that, I forgot to go over one coin that was on a prior segment. Got a little too excited with all these sponsors, so you know. Yeah, Raven, settle down. Thanks, Sal. Anyways, let's get to it. So, what I missed earlier, guys, we got a visit from the great country of Canada up north, eh? A 2003. You know I like the Canadian coin, so I will hold on to that. Uh, and a really nice 2010. Then we got a 1981D that's really nice. So is this 76. Uh, I just like the way this 1970S looks. I like the patina on it. I got a 62, a 61, a 57. Uh, that one is an S. No, wait. I'm sorry, guys. It looks like a D. A 56D. A 54D. And two 1940s. One of them is a D, and the other one's a Philly. So, guys, we got, you know, so far not doing too bad. Typical kind of box, you know, key dates and whatnot from the 40s and 50s. And, you know, I just wanted to say on this one, we didn't really have the kind of a sponsor section. And just wanted to tell the community to make sure you guys keep supporting one another, keep positive, support all the channels and each other because, you know, you can grow a lot. And uh, anyways, let's get to the next 10 on the Nickel Mid and return with one of our sponsors, Ravenox Coins. Stay tuned. Okay, everybody, welcome back to Ravenhawk Coins, and we have got through the entire box we're going to go through the highlights, and as you can see, like always, the 64 Galores. You know, they come to the party. And when you've gone through an entire box of nickels, that's what your hand's supposed to look like. But let's look at the highlights. Oh, wait. First, a word from our sponsor. This episode brought to you by Coin Op Op Op. Guys, once again, make sure that you check out his weekly shows they are wednesdays and fridays at 8 a.m i'm sorry not 8 a.m 8 p.m eastern and 5 p.m pacific and on sundays he has his new show where he does sell some of the items uh the varieties <clears throat> excuse me varieties and errors so it's really cool make sure you're there that will be at 7 p.m eastern and four o'clock pacific on sundays so let's get to the wrap-up, and we found a really nice 2006, and <clears throat> I don't always highlight a 64 galore, but when I do, it looks really nice like that one. Uh, we got a 1961, a 58, another 58, and then a 1941 plane. So once again, a great box, you know, it basically shows you you can have a lot of fun with your family. Go on and get yourself a box. Maybe flip some of them for, you know, five, ten times what they're worth, the face value, and build it up to get yourself a little silver stack. But anyways, guys, once again, we want to thank our official sponsor, Coin Up, Up, Up. Make sure you catch his show, guys. Thank you again for all your support. Raven Hot Coins, P.O. Box 2825, Vista, California. California 92085 I'm sorry no that's PO box 2528 <laughs> I don't know guys you know what do me a favor look down below because sometimes it's hard to remember the PO box but our email is ravenhotcoins at gmail.com thank you once again for all the support Ravenhotcoins have a great day